in the next segment uh, with Mr. Zagami. Then we're going to have a huge in-depth report on geoengineering. It's out in the open. You need to know about it. We have a special guest joining us. Uh, let's go ahead and take another call. Let's talk to Jim in Colorado. Jim, you're on the air with Leo Zagami. Yeah, hi, Alex. Uh, Long-time listener. I'd just like to add a few uh, pieces to this final puzzle that we're uh, looking at, staring us right in the face. Uh, this pope is number 266. Two sixes plus another six. Uh, chapter 13 of the book of Revelation, it talks about a a beast with uh, ten horns, seven heads. Uh, Freemasonry has seven different types of lodges, and they have a uh, they're, they're, they have their own set of ten commandments that are in direct opposition to God's ten commandments. Uh, the second beast says it comes out uh, has two horns like a lamb. The, those two horns represent the mitre that the Pope and bishops wear, okay? You, you there? No, I'm listening. Well, oh, okay. That, that represents that, uh, that hat that the Pope and bishops wear. So this Pope is, is the last Pope. He, he's uh, the false prophet, second beast. And uh, what the whole game, their whole game plan is, is to do away with Christianity worldwide. They, these Masons and these secret societies, these devil worshippers, they all hate Jesus and they want to get him off the face of the earth. And uh, if you uh, if you look in uh, John chapter six about the uh, what we call as the Catholics, the Holy Communion, the Mass. They're going to try to. They're going to do away with it, and that's talked about in uh, Daniel chapter twelve. How they're, they're, they're going to. All right, to, listen. Uh, interesting points. We're going to get Leo, Leo's take. Well, we got one more segment with Leo Zagami. Then we've got uh, the organization in California exposing geoengineering. Joining us, it's made news across the state as more and more citizens investigate persistent jet condensation trails, known as chemtrails which we're not saying every plane is spraying chemtrails, but there is geoengineering going on. We've compiled a lot of evidence. We're going to be going over today, so stay with us. Uh, Leo, you just heard that caller uh, getting into, you know, this pope being the, you know, being the false prophet or whatever. This is all I know. Suddenly Baptist churches, Methodist churches, Catholic churches, uh, universities, media, the heat's been turned up. We're going to ban the name father and mother. Boy and girl, he, she, the words. We're going to arrest you if you read out of the Bible. We're going to forcibly inoculate you. We're going to turn your power plants off. We're going to teach your five-year-olds how to have sex. We're going to, I mean, they are really, it's not just the Catholic Church. It's what I'm saying. It's everything is uncloaking right now and really showing who they are. It looks like a major move is being made. I want to jam in a few more calls, but what do you say to what I just stated? I think you're perfectly on the ball game because, I mean, here we are right at a critical moment of time. They are taking completely over. They feel secure for what they're doing. They feel that the opposition will not be able to stop them. They have the technology, remember, now to implement the new world order. All that technology that we've been talking about for many years now is uh, available. And, of course, uh, the mondialist plan wants uh, to connect uh, the human being and uh, enslave him even more. So uh, this agenda, in the end, wants just to enslave and, and make every human not only into a number, but into a number that uh, is then valued uh, for the system. And, you know, this number is valued 100. This uh, uh, human being is valued 200. I mean, it's going to be like this. It's, it's a, a whole situation in which they are just exploiting mankind to enslave him ultimately, even uh, with uh, the microchip in the end. Leo Zagami is our guest, jamming in a few final calls before we get into geoengineering special with a special guest. And in regard to the Jesuits, we have to remember the figure of Pierre Teilhard de Cardin, who was this French Jesuit who inspired very much the, the New Age movement. And he was a strong supporter of the One World Government. And let's not forget that. Well, we had the Pope two months ago and again a month ago saying we need a planetary government to tackle climate change with a carbon tax. That's world government with a tax, tracking everything we do. That is the one world cashless society with the Pope calling for it.
I mean, if anybody who was a Christian leader called for it, I, I would say they were bad. I mean, if, um, you know, who's the top Protestant today? Who would you say that is? I mean, I don't care who it is. If, if they said that, I'd come out against them. If, um, if we don't do something about it, I just don't even know what's going to end up happening because people think, oh, big deal, there's going to be a world government. With that world government comes total tyranny. And what if they were setting up world government right now and they were being, you know, promoting freedom? I'd still be worried because a centralized system can take over at any moment and mistakes by a centralized system can be magnified. But we know the globalists are bad through and through. We know they have nothing but the end of free will for us. I don't see how anyone, Leo, would not oppose this. Well, uh, mankind, unfortunately, has many weaknesses. They uh, collect these weaknesses and make them the, the way to exploit mankind. You see everything that we are fed through the media, uh, everything that we are given to eat, uh, everything is exploited so that in the end we are like, okay, this is my little piece of the cake. I might stay silent because otherwise I might get in trouble. So this is going to become more and more in the next uh, few years. I mean, in the end, we will not be able to say anything that opposes the system and even have a feel against them, not even saying it. They will uh, control even our thoughts. And they'll so have all the these little factions people. set against each other that will attack each other whenever the centralized referees want. I've only got time to go to two more calls for you because we've got another special guest coming up, maybe three or four. Let's try it. Real quick questions here. Thanks for calling. Jeff in Canada. Jeff, you're on the air with our guest. Go ahead. Good afternoon, gentlemen. God bless you both. Uh, my question is, uh, if either of you have heard of a book by uh, Tom Horn and Chris Putnam called Petrus Romanus, The Final Pope is Here, and it's about the prophecy of St. Malachi uh, and the final pope. Uh, they also did a follow-up book called Exo Vaticana, Petrus Romanus, Project Lucifer, and the Vatican's Astonishing Plan for the Arrival of an Alien Savior. And so basically it documents uh, that the, uh, they call it astrotheology. And, uh, uh, sure, the Illuminati believe we were seated by aliens. The movie Prometheus, uh, Prometheus is basically like a creation story uh, that the elite put out. They even admit that. Uh, and they even admit that the Vatican is preparing with the Vatican uh, Observatory for the arrival of aliens. That's mainstream news. Uh, excellent questions. Thank you, Jeff. Let's get uh, Mr. Zagami's take on it. Well, the Jesuits are in complete control of the astronomical sector of the Vatican. Uh, the, the Holy See has uh, had the, the Jesuits in charge for a long time. So they are the ones that in the last few years are starting to open up to this possibility because gradually they can make the whole thing also instrumental for their own New Age creed, you know. Jesus is not the only one in the universe. In the end, Jesus will be, okay, Jesus is big for us, but he's not big for the, instead of being the center of the universe, he's going to become marginalized and part of this new age creed that the Jesuits have promoting using also the alien agenda. And, and again, we're not the ones saying this. This is mainstream news. It's just so bizarre. Are they going to stage something? Do they know that the globalists are going to stage something? Uh, what is the plan? You see Hollywood getting us ready for it? It is bizarre. Let's go ahead now and talk to Aaron in Canada. You're on the air with Leo Zagami. Uh, hey, yeah, I was just saying uh, or going you know, to talk about the formation of the Catholic Church and how in the beginning it was formed uh, like Caesar worship. And uh, you had to take Caesar's name before Jesus' name. So I think since the beginning of the Catholic Church, it's always been a part of the Illuminati. It's always been part of uh, the... Yeah, we're going to have to move on. Then that creates the whole conspiracy theory that we were cutting that line off. That, that sounded like that was being done on purpose. That was like chainsaws going off and yeah, ca yeah, yeah, car yeah. doors opening. And, weird, Alex. Uh, anyways, uh, I mean, let's talk about the founding of the Catholic Church. Um, that's an interesting question. Is the founding of Christianity, the founding of Christianity, because we know that at one point an emperor, Constantine, made this the state religion of the empire. And, uh, and from there on, uh, really, the Vatican takes on from the Roman Empire as their heirs to all this power and knowledge. So I guess that more than the founding of Catholicism, we should talk first about the founding of Christianity. Of course, after 
people after the Orthodox Church ran off, then Protestantism was created. But now, in the end, as you can see, they have taken back the, the, whole, uh, the whole Christianity in their hands, and I don't think there is one Christian leader today in the world that opposes the Pope, even if he's from another denomination. The ecumenicalism, the World Council of Churches that the Rockefeller set up has been successful. And then now the very doctrine of the Bible itself is being banned, is being outlawed, is being shredded. Let's go ahead and take yes. one more phone call. Fabian in FEMA Region 5. You're on the air, Fabian. Yes, hello, gentlemen. Um, I just wanted to add to the the staged stuff, like the little girl who was able to break security and come over and see the Pope and all that stuff. Uh, something very similar happened uh, last week. I did send a news tip uh, on Monday, but I don't know if you know my stuff went into the spam or whatever. But NBC News staged another similar event live on TV on the 16th, where we got Richard Engel out there in the midst of all the migrants trying to break through, you know, uh, the, the gates and the fences, and just, lo and behold, this pregnant refugee walks by and collapses right at his feet. And lo I mean, and behold, the baby drowns, so they stage it for the news cameras. Yeah, I mean, this is, so, this is totally transparent, totally sickening. But instead of outraging the public, they love it. They love being conned, at least some people do. Uh, or maybe it's going to blow up in their face. Uh, thank you for the call, Fabian. What do you think about his statement? I think that everybody in America these days, uh, while the Pope is visiting, uh, is uh, showing uh, the real self. We are seeing really scenes that are out of this world. I mean, these people, to be close to the Pope, will do anything. I mean, like he's some kind of God. And uh... We've been having some phone issues today, obviously. Uh, but we just lost uh, Zagami's phone. Can we go back to Skype audio? And then we have Skype videos so you can finish up. All right. Well, well, we will uh, try to finish up with him and then come back with our guest on geoengineering. Uh, Leo, can you hear me? All right, well, we've lost him, but that was an important interview uh, that we just had with uh, Leo Zagami.